good afternoon dear students so i am back here to continue the class that we are learning about the most importantly aspect which is about fossil fuels is it right the last class we have learnt more important aspects about this which is uh, introductory part of uh, this unit as importantly we are going to learn in this unit about the coal and petroleum as we have learnt in the previous class uh, that helped us to understand some of the introduction which the natural substances which is buried deep from the hundreds of years back which converts into the fuels which we called as fossil fuels and as we have learned in last class about the exhaustible and inexhaustible resources so the resources which are natural and the resources which is made by the man so all important aspects we have learned even for many days we can able to use which are in danger and which are not in danger which helps us to differentiate is it right so today we are going to start uh, the topic which is important for us to understand with the help of this unit that is about coal we are going to learn about the coal okay dear students here the coal this coal is uh, generally very hard type of substance and black in color it looks like a stone hard and looks like a stone very hard and black color which color black color and you know dear students coal is also one of the fuel which is used from the previous years for the cooking purposes so after that it is used in the steam engines to run railways so railway engine which is first award as a steam engine which is run by using the coal so coal when we burn it produces a tremendous heat a superb heat with the help of that heat the railway engine can be run easily i think you know that it is discovered by james watt the first in steam engine discovered by james watt is it right and after that it is also used for the thermal powers to produce electricity as you know dear students coal is used in various industries as a fuel nowadays also so i will tell you one of the story of this coal which help us to understand here how the coal or any other different types of fossil fuels can manage this fuel see dear students you have to understand that uh, uh, i think uh, 300 million years ago 300 million years ago the earth has very dense forest with a lot of uh, strengthened trees and plants a uh, long uh, wide trees strengthened stem so which is uh, you know that very dense type of a forest on the earth surface so nowadays we are going to be we are destroying and we are covering that areas for our purposes but that time the population was less so because of that the area of the earth which is covered with the dense forest so after that some days some years going away uh, you know that number of uh, natural disasters as like the floods earthquakes um, and then uh, uh, cyclones all these has destroyed most of the plants and trees and the trees get buried deep in the layers of the soil so year by year year by year the soil is covering the trees and plants dead plants and trees so after that so when you know you know that uh, the trees the twigs of the trees when go deeper uh, as sank deeper in the layers of the soil where the temperature rises so that temperature converts this into the chemical uh, process so that chemical process converting that wood into the coal so forming the carbon what forming the carbon content you know that the coal is one of the content of a carbon the slow process of conversion of the uh, coal into the carbon process which we call as the carbon the slow process of converting vegetation into the carbon is called as carbonization anta helthi so vegetation andre ee plants and trees one slow process chemical method inda convert aagi one carbon content like coal idu made agiruvanta one substances athava one process ki now carbonization anta helthivi as it is also a reminds of ancient so that we call as the fossil fuel so and dear students we have to understand 
more about the coal that we can able to manage this how we can able to manage let us we understand here see the coal we get from the mining how we will get coal from the mining so how what is mining so mining means we getting something from the deep layers of the site gold mines coal mines petroleum mining refineries are there is it right and even other different types of metals we will mine from the layers of the soil so see the coal generally we use uh, which is uh, when we uh, generally we are using to uh, produce heat energy so when we burn it in the in the presence of air it produces uh, more probably the carbon dioxide to the environment okay dear students here coal is processing by the industries uh, uh, to get useful products uh, most important uh, useful products by uh, mining the coal uh, it is used uh, uh, it is getting from the uh, mining and then it is processed into the different categories as like uh, it is used as a coke it is one of the purest form of the coal coke c o k e coke and then next another type of uh, uh coal which we are using uh, that is uh, we call as coal tar and even also we use as coal gas coke coal tar and coal gas so let us understand what are these what about the coke we have to understand here see coke is almost a black color substance and pure substance and porous it is porous and it is used in the extraction of number of metals and especially steel in the extraction of steel and number of metals it is using which is called as coke and then about the coal tar if you go it is one of the thick black color liquid and which is which have a unpleasant smell unpleasant smell and even you know dear students it has a mixture of nearly 300 uh, sorry 200 above substances how many 200 above substances and it is used to manufacture various substances various substances as like uh, dyes that hair dyes or other polishes and even it is used to prepare drugs explosives and even also it is used to manufacture plastics drugs uh, and then uh, paints uh, photographic plates and even also uh, for the tar tar anta helthivalu when our road road constructions roofing material goes karon navu use maartivi and even also dear students uh, nephthalene balls so pest nu ulagalanna odiyadikanta nephthalene balls kalpula kal, uh, kalpura balls nu na thon bartivi so that is also made up of the coal tar and you know another type of uh, coal is coal gas Yes, students. It is also uh, you uh, obtained from the processing of the coal, and then uh, it, it it is used in the year eighteen twenty and eighteen ten uh, uh, in the London and New York for the purpose of uh, uh, street lights, burning of uh, street lights to get lightning method. And nowadays, it is using generally as a fuel in industries. as a fuel in many industries uh, in thermal power plants and other important industries it is, it is using okay dear students so these are the some of the important aspects what we have learned today about the uh, coal and in the next class we are going to learn about the petroleum okay listen this class and also i am sending some of the links of mining which is uh, going in india uh, watch that video and also listen my class and do the work thank you very much take care everyone Bye